Hello and welcome to Zoho People. My name is Jason from the Blue Root team. And in this video, I wanna show you some low hanging fruit in one of the Zoho One apps, Zoho People. For a lot of my customers, Zoho People is not a priority. Even if they're Zoho One subscribers, it can be intimidating to rock the boat in the HR department. And I totally understand that. Sometimes we need to go slowly, Sometimes we need to allow HR to operate in its own way. And fair enough, but I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily solve a problem that many organizations have and has been a huge headache for me over the years. And that is tracking vacation and time off. You see, as a supervisor, I can remember using email entries, uh, calendars, spreadsheets, and all kinds of methods to try and track who took vacation, and when they took it. And inevitably, errors, omissions, and uh, bad entries have led to me scrambling in November or December to figure out how much time an employee can take off. I can remember spending hours poring over old emails because a spreadsheet had been deleted and my IT department couldn't find it fast enough. Huge problem, and now that problem is solved for me with Zoho people. This is, I think, one of the easy things that you can implement in this system right away and get started and see some value. Here I am in Zoho people, it's in, on the screen in front of you. And I'm just gonna select Leave Tracker, this service on the side here. I only have one employee set up and I only have one leave type set up. Out of the box, you'll get a few extra, I just turned them off. So let's take a look at this. 10 days of vacation, but let's suppose we also had two personal days each year. We would set that up by clicking settings, leave type, and I'll just hit this add button in the top right. So I'm going to name it. You can have a code if you want to. Uh, you can make these paid or unpaid and you can measure them in days or hours. Here we would describe it and set a valid date. So I'm gonna to use today's date, but you could certainly set these up to be effective in the future. For example, if you revamp your policy at the end of the year, you could do that here. And then I'm gonna add an entitlement. So I'll say every first of the year we reset and we'll, we'll have two days in the accrual. We're not gonna do any carry forward we're not going to do any encashment and we're not going to prorate. Um, we'll just start with the policy. And there are some advanced settings in terms of applicability. You can restrict certain elements of the um, policy. We're going to ignore those for now. This is about getting up and started quickly. So I just hit submit. And then the next thing that I want to do, because I'm doing this in a live system, is I wanna make sure that anyone who's already in the system gets their balance for this year. So to do that, I can just hit customize balance. You see personal days is currently zero. That's because we don't have the reset yet. So I'll just say, you know what, Tom, you get two days this year. As a supervisor, if somebody works overtime, if I wanna make an exception, uh, if we're gonna change someone's compensation for one year, I can go ahead and customize the balance of vacation at any, any time, or I can leave it. And of course, this will all be tracked in the audit history. So now if I come up to Tom's list view and I hit refresh, we will see that he has two personal days available and 10 vacation days. So the setup can be that simple. But on top of that, it's also simple for your employees to then request time. So first off, from this view, you can see that I can hit apply leave right here. As a supervisor, I could choose other employees. I can choose their leave type and the dates that they want to request a leave for. I can also add other um, custom fields to this if I want to. I can make people explain what they're going to do. I can ask for itineraries. It's really up to your policy as to what's included in this request. If the employee wants to make a request, 
instead of the supervisor, they can do that too in the self-service module. So here in self-service, I would just click, uh, sorry, leave tracker. And you can see here a very similar view to what we were looking at before. I click apply leave. My name is automatically added here. And I'm going to say vacation. I'll go in September. And I'm going to pick five days. You can see here it will tell me the five days. If your company allows for it, you can add half days and so on. I might put in the reason for the leave. And then I'm going to move this pesky loom head. And I'll hit submit. So now this leave has been recorded successfully. If I close this screen and hit a refresh, I'll see that my leave application for five days is right here. A very powerful element of this is right here on the screen, you can also see how much time you have left and how much time you've already requested off this year. That, I think, is a really simple way to use this system. And of course, you can get much more sophisticated. I could add approvals. Uh, I could add processes. We could have two layers of approval. And we could have workflows where if somebody submits the application for a leave, their supervisor is emailed and assigned a task and so on and so on. Now, I don't want to get into any of that today. I think my point is just with a system that Zoho One subscribers are already paying for, you can take care of a real world problem, tracking leave and vacation very quickly and implement a system that works for you to make the mathematics around vacation simple. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, reach out to the Blue Root team. We'd be happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.